What's good, you guys? How is it going? It's your boy Leo again, and I am back with a new package. Yes, the M1A2 Abrams main battle tank from BooLokes.com. However you say that, I guess I don't know, but there it is. And I, I'm gonna look at the website later on, and we will see what happens. See if they got some other stuff to get. This was only like 45 bucks or something. Very cheap. It looks good for the model. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up in a sec. Boom. I have it opened. It comes with three bags. Uh, I opened the bag, but I forgot I didn't turn the camera on. So there you go. <laughs> and it comes with five minifigures that yes, I put together real quick for you guys. Cause like I said, I forgot to, to put the camera going. There's three females and two males. They are very nice, actually. They got print front and back. Their legs are almost 100% printed, except for the very back. This girl has a tattoo and a little necklace, and she's wearing like a little tank top type thing. And this is the male. Nice prints again. This one is 100% printed all the way around. Ah! As well as these guys over here. They're back. I do like the molly texture in the back. <clears throat> so those two have the same uniform as well as this one. And these two have different. And it comes with a bunch of brick arms. And shows you like the combinations you can do here. Now... It did not say this when I ordered this on Amazon. It just showed the tank itself. And it came in this beautiful black box. I was already thinking like, man, I'm going to have to buy a tank crew from like Brick Mania or Battle Brick. But this was a big surprise. And for like 45 bucks, not only do you get the tank, you get five minifigures and a crap load of little arms and stuff and equipment and they're well detailed as well got some m4s and stuff some lmgs it is very very awesome now these are the instructions right here got the nice picture of what it's gonna look like then how to build and their instructions look very similar to Lego itself, which is very nice. Comes with some stickers for the pieces you'll need. And again, three bags to build all your stuff. And it comes with the little prior. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna get building on this. This was a great surprise when I opened the box and I saw those minifigures and brick arms. So I'm already stupid excited even more since i have these now it's just like a great price it's like a steal so i'll catch you on in a minute
What's good guys? I finally finished this tank and when I tell you it was a little difficult, <laughs> it was a little difficult, but it's it's nice. I like it. I'll let y'all see here. Boom. So this is it. Full 360 all the way around. The barrel does go up and down. The guns here move. I did put the Brickmania's M240 on here just because I felt like it made more sense <laughs> than the old school 50 cal. It has a radio here, just some little stuff, antenna. And uh, I believe this is supposed to be like a little javelin, which is pretty cool. Got some toolboxes, gas can. You got the smoke launchers there, the hatches. And it just literally will come straight out right there, as you can see. I don't want to take it all the way out. The tracks do move. It is just hard to move it on a smooth surface so let me bring this mat over here and show you guys so you guys should be able to see now they move pretty 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 cool pretty cool you do have to apply a little bit of pressure there you go it's not too bad you have the engine in here uh, this does open if you pop it out just like that. And inside is the little engine, which is just cool that they add the little engine panel there. And when you are building this, there is actually a little engine that is inside it, which is pretty neat, pretty, pretty cool. Most definitely cool. Now, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's awesome. The armor moves out on the side panel so you can see just like in real life it would. It moves out. This comes up a little bit where you could put a driver in there. And this comes down. I believe you could probably put a driver laying down, but I won't be putting one. It's not too bad. Again, we got it from uh, let's see. Bull Oaks or something like that. I have to look at the website, but I will link in the description. It's nice. It's not too bad. It is, though, a little, like, chunky. I guess that would possibly be the word for it. It's, like, very, like, narrow. It's not as flat and wide. It's kind of taller and uh, narrow. I feel like it would have been nicer if it was just slightly wider. But it is a very good mock for the price. And this is going to be great for the military base. And again, like I said earlier, it comes with a bunch of different arms and accessories. You got some knives, some gren uh, grenades. Some pistols, some submachine guns, a sniper rifle, uh, LMG, and then just some regular rifles. Uh, I'm not sure what these things are though. If anybody can tell me what exactly this is, <laughs> I don't know what this is for. But there's two of them, <laughs> and it comes with they got a little like a little tablet thing, which is cool. It's not too bad, so I like it. Mm, I would probably rate this for the price. It's uh, I would say it's a 10 out of 10, especially with the bonus stuff you get here. The minifigures, you get five, and you get a crap ton of stuff added, which is great. So I'll give it a 10 out of 10 for price range and quality. It is pretty good. I do have to say there is... A little tweaking that you could possibly do to it when building it I did have trouble with the barrel at first because it was moving a little too loosely 
around here and I had I just had to bend one of the prongs outward to get it to stay stiff um, other than that the gun moves good it doesn't just fall straight down you can literally have it like that um, then on the inside too it, the instructions aren't very clear with some little parts especially when it comes to putting bricks underneath the top it doesn't show the bottom layout it just shows it on top and has the arrows and the arrows are kind of confusing but other than that it was pretty good i hope y'all liked this video uh let me know what you think of this tank and if it was worth paying like 45 50 bucks for it um just comment down below like and subscribe if you haven't already thank you guys for watching there's more uh lego content military lego content to come this is just the beginning. I still have a lot of other stuff to show you guys. But it's been great. It's been long. I'm tired. Peace.